A couple of years ago, I had a call from the Deputy Director of the National Cancer Institute, uh, Anna Barker, uh, with a, an amazing proposal. She said, uh, well, we're spending billions of dollars worth of uh, taxpayers' money on the famous uh, war on cancer. Uh, and most of this is going to uh, cancer biologists, oncologists, uh, geneticists, uh, following the sort of uh, well-trodden path uh, that those very brilliant people have uh, trodden. And they've accumulated a vast, vast amount of information. Here is a subject uh, uh, about which an enormous amount is known. But unfortunately, very little is understood. Uh, and so uh, she had this very bold proposal that uh, maybe physicists and physical scientists generally, including mathematicians, and chemists, and so on, uh, might be able to lend a hand, not by giving uh, the cancer biologists a new death ray, uh, but uh, by uh, lending uh, some of the concepts in, say, fundamental physics uh, to the problem of cancer. Physicists think about the world in a very particular way. They go about solving problems uh, in, a, in a certain manner. The whole culture of physics is really very different from that of biology. So maybe physicists have got something to contribute. Uh, now, this is obviously a, a bold venture, but as a consequence of um, uh, two or three workshops exploring that possibility, the National Cancer Institute announced uh, about a year ago that they will be funding 12 centers around the country, uh, and Arizona State University has one, and I'm principal investigator. Uh, there are about 12 people in my team, a uh, similar number in the other centers. And uh, it's early days yet, but it's uh, an experimental as well as a theoretical program. Uh, because I'm completely new to the field, uh, I'm having to learn very fast. Uh, my own contribution is uh, in running workshops, brainstorming workshops, questioning the hidden assumptions that go into our current folklore understanding of cancer. If you open a textbook or talk to an oncologist, you'll be told all sorts of things uh, about the nature of cancer, uh, stuff which may be true, uh, but it may not be true. And it's always good in science to say, well, how do you know that? And are you really sure? And could there be an exceptional case? Uh, and so my job really is, to, is, I call it grandly, a cancer forum. It's a runner cancer forum uh, in which I bring together from time to time uh, about 20 people uh, we'll, from different disciplines and we'll pick a particular uh, subject. Uh, the, the next one is uh, applying evolutionary mathematics to cancer. And we'll, uh, we'll focus on that and we'll tr really try and come up with a totally new way of thinking and hopefully with a new research agenda. Uh, it's, it's all very well coming up with ideas, but we've got to be able to test those ideas in the lab, uh, or at least uh, with computational models, to see if we can move forward. So what we're aiming for is the big breakthrough, the penicillin moment, which cancer research has never had. Uh, if you look at the mortality rate from cancer, it's largely unchanged in 40 years, uh, whereas almost all other diseases have had uh, enormous success. Uh, and so. Uh, there, there hasn't been that really major breakthrough, that, ah, now, we, now we've nailed it uh, type of moment uh, where uh, the, the, the cancer can be tackled to make a really dramatic difference in the uh, mortality rate. There are one or two uh, cancers that have been cleared up. Childhood leukemia has been a huge success there, but, you know, it's, it's odds and ends. The overall picture of the major killers, um, uh, breast cancer, lung cancer, stomach cancer, and so on, uh, the, the statistics there are really pretty dreadful. Um, and I think uh, all of us working in this uh, field feel that if we can make a contribution by coming up with a genuinely new idea, uh, tackle the problem in a completely different way, uh, then this could be what we have really waited a long time for, which is that big breakthrough that is going to maybe halve that mortality rate. That's, that's my ambition. Thank you.